for 2022, the Chevy Silverado is actually getting a refresh once again. This is the new ZR2 trim. This is basically aimed square at the TRD Pro. Chevy realized that 60% of their trucks were being sold with some sort of off-road package, whether it be the Z71 or the Trail Boss. It makes sense that Chevy would build a true competitor to Toyota, Ford, and Dodge in this category. Just like the Trail Boss, the ZR2 has underbody protection. However, the ZR2 packs a new Multimatic suspension with increased travel to compete with the TRD Pro Tundra and Raptor. Unfortunately, it's down on tire size compared to the Raptor, which offers 37s and comes standard with 35s. However, it still has 11.2 inches of ground clearance and better approach and departure angles than the 30 five inch tire Raptor. Under here is the 6.2 liter V8. It's gonna be standard in all of the ZR2 specs. It's 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. It's gonna to come paired with a 10 speed automatic. This is just a battery maintainer. This also has very competitive approach and departure angle, 33 inch tires, along with front and rear lockers, which is something the Toyota cannot brag about. Now, a big difference here for the refresh is the technology in the console here. So you'll notice that with some of the 2022 models, they'll be called LTD or limited. Those are going to basically reuse the old tech. Think of it like Chevy using up the rest of the 2021 interiors. It's almost like this is the 2022.5. The new infotainment and layout inside are the biggest changes. Plus you get a new electronic shift lever that comes standard if you get front captain seats and feels like a video game shifter. And for the most part, I really do enjoy this. This is uh, probably the way that I would want my Silverado to come. The infotainment system here is pretty easy to use. You have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, and it's derived from an Android system here. I like the use of physical dials and buttons for pretty much everything. I do wish that there was a physical tune knob, but the volume knob here is at least something. I think the Tundra was a little bit more interesting, but that's all subjective. This is a big improvement though for me compared to the previous year. We also have a new seat material here and it has a nice lime stitching that definitely makes it stand out from other Silverado specs. Now, I'm not going to lie, this doesn't feel, you know, super rugged and special. I think the TRD Pro feels a little bit more distinct than this on the inside. This feels more like a regular Silverado, but I do appreciate the big advancements they made in the tech. Back seat space will be phenomenal. If you wanna store a bike or something back here, it will be easier to do that so storage doesn't extend out far. This is also a mat, if you couldn't see. This does not have the vinyl washout floors that a Ford Bronco has. You have a five foot 10 bed with a crew cab as the sole configuration with this package. Overall, the ZR2 is shaping up to be a compelling truck. I'd expect reliability to be so-so with cylinder deactivation still providing major lifter issues with the 6.2 for some owners. This also has direct injection only, so keep an eye out for carbon buildup. But the V8 sound is nice and the power is not far behind its turbocharged competitors. This doesn't have the desert racing look of the Raptor, but it should provide a great, more low-key alternative to the Raptor, and on paper it has a better approach angle than the new Tundra and a front locker. The new ZR2 should provide good competition to both, and they all start around the same price. So let me know, off first impressions, tell me which one you'd rather have in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in car reviews of both new and old models with zero to 60 runs and a segment where I talk about reliability, subscribe and hit the bell.